A-10 tank killers like the ones based at Boise's Gowan Field are coming to Idaho from all over the U.S. to take part in their own version of Top Gun. Our Roland Barris was there for day one of a three-day event. The A-10 may not be as sexy as some more modern jets, but when it opens up its 30 millimeter cannon, like that, mm -hmm. and turns anything on the ground to gazpacho, it's the kind of thing that troops they're protecting love to see. Absolutely, Grun's favorite sound in the world. It means close air support's coming, and most of the time, all they have to do is fly over and they'll run. If that doesn't work, that 30 millimeter cannon will take care of the rest. <laughs> the hog smoke competition happens every year, pitting the best of the best pilots against each other in accuracy of dive bombing and strafing. And the skull bangers out of Boise are the team to beat. Why are we so good at this? Because uh, we train hard, we practice hard. Uh, there's a lot of pride involved in this competition. But what this really is about is, uh, this is tactical training to, to get ready to do our jobs. This is really a surreal competition to watch because as the planes come in, the first thing you notice is the smoke coming from the wings. Then you hear the supersonic sound of the bullets going past the speed of sound. And only then do you actually hear the gun, all of which is extremely loud, but sort of backward. In the cockpit, what you really feel and hear, uh, the airplane rattles, shakes. It actually, there's a G meter that, that uh, measures how many Gs we're pulling. It'll actually peg sometimes just due to the vibration of the gun. Boise's own 190th fighter squadron, the Skull Bangers, have won this competition three times over the years. They're tallying up the results inside this building, and when they're done, the Skull Bangers hope they're on top of the heap again. In Sailor Creek Bombing Range, Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.